the most beautiful time of the year has started, when the mountains change colors into deep shades of red, orange, yellow and green. The days are getting colder and windier, and the northern lights are dancing in the sky. The sun also gets shy, and every time it shows up, I fill myself with all its energy, because soon it will be completely gone. I feel so connected to the birch trees, they have this energy of a wise soul that always comforts me. It's hard to find the proper words to express how much I love everything about this time of the year. I feel mesmerized by such nature perfection. I always struggle a bit to wake up in the morning because I can't put my heater on. The solar panel doesn't charge well now that the days are shorter, so I need to save up electricity. The first question of the day is how much layers of wool I'm gonna wear. <sighs> Good morning! It's 5 degrees I think now in the van. It's quite cold. Um, the crazy thing is that it, it was summer like some days ago and it switched like so fast and now I have to get used to this cold again and uh, it's gonna take a, a bit of time I guess so please forgive my voice and my face because I'm super exhausted at the moment, so let's start the day slowly. <laughs> Just look at this view. Look at this wonder. It's just a painting. I know, I have a very small water storage, but that prevents it from freezing too fast and I got quite used to it anyway. It's the best way to get warm in the morning. So warm! My feet froze. <laughs> So I had to turn the heater on anyway. This is how I look like after bathing in the cold, freezing water. I always close the gas. I'm quite paranoid with the gas. I don't know how you are with the gas, but I really have a big paranoia. <laughs> so I always close it when I'm done. It's ra it's starting to rain, but I really wanna I really wanna have my tea in front of the lake. <laughs> so let's try anyway. It's raining, but I really want to have my tea here because just being in the forest with the birch trees, I just need to start my day like that. <laughs> so it's raining just a little bit, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, the green tea. So I hope you are all doing great, guys. And here, the, 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 the summer just disappeared in, in a few days and now it's replaced by amazing colors and cold rain and very strong winds but uh, this is how I like it. <laughs> this is exactly how I like it. It's exhausting and tiring and I'm sorry if you hear some noise because usually there is no one here but today there are some children playing by the lake. 
So it's very strange. Usually no one is there, so so I'm very tired, but so, so grateful to finally being able to enjoy my favorite season of the year. It's, it's just a wonderful time and it's so short. It's so short because it's just like some weeks and, and sometimes it's one week, sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's three with these beautiful golden leaves. But it just depends on the weather. Like if you have a lot of, if you have a sudden storm, it can just make, make everything disappear in the blink of an eye. So I'm enjoying every moment of it, every second of it. Even if the weather is crazy, I just want to be there and, and make the most of it because this season is, is also beautiful because of its shortness, you know, because it's so short and, and it's really such a precious, precious time. And that's also what makes fall in Lapland so beautiful. This is why it's just amazing to, to live in a van in Scandinavia, because you appreciate every moment, even, even if it's hard or exhausting, it's, it's just magical. Every day is not the same. Every day is different. I mean, look at that. How can't you be outside? <laughs> Just being there with, the, with all those birch trees, I feel so connected to these trees and, and I feel so emotional when I think that soon they won't have leaves anymore. It's just a matter of days before everything will go by the wind. And that makes me very emotional. <laughs> It's always like the sign that summer is over and and soon winter will be here and soon birches will be sleeping. Can you hear the wind? It's so relaxing. It's super cold but so relaxing. Oh my God. I'm also very happy that the darkness is finally here. I can't believe that... I can't believe that that two months, ago, two months ago, the sun was setting at midnight and was rising up at 2 a.m. And now, now it's dark at, at 8, 8 p.m. So it's changing so fast and sometimes it's hard to keep up. So that's why I love being in the van because I'm all the time outside and I can see, I can witness all these changes. And it, then it doesn't seem too much fast, I mean, not too much fast. So now the darkness is embracing the mountains and I'm really happy with that. I missed the darkness so much. I missed having time to just chill out and, and being in the night and watching at the stars and the moon and the, the northern lights. I missed it so much. And I can't believe that in two months it will be dark at two and soon there won't be sun anymore. So, you know, it's changing so fast. And that makes me so emotional. <laughs> Every time I think about that, I feel so emotional. <laughs> it's still ra rainy and windy, like it's never ending. And I'm gonna prepare anyway for a little adventure searching for wild animals. So that would be probably the next subject. For, for the next video and I just wanted to thank you all to have been so many to join the channel recently and thank you so much for all your kind messages and comments it's it's really motivating and you have been very many to, to write comments since I started this channel uh, three months ago and I'm really grateful for that I'm really grateful for all the, the love you sent me and it's really motivating, so thank you so much. And I want to send you back all this love and I will see you soon, little warriors. And by now, take care. See you.